Uh, we're here with 2022 four-star offensive tackle, Emil Wagner. Emil, you are obviously on your chest right there. Football-wise, I was working on my technique, you know, same thing. Uh, I have a lot of athleticism, a lot of uh, footwork, but right now I'm just working on my technique, getting better. Uh, I want to beat a lot of guys with uh, skill instead of just athleticism. You guys have a very talented team coming back next year. You'll be a senior, be one of the leaders. What are your goals as a team trying to lead this, um, lead the group down for a postseason run and everything else? Just be the best we could be, you know. Uh, we come from a winning tradition. You know, the last couple of years have been uh, decent, but, you know, just want to get back to that winning tradition, uh, do well, play our best game. You know, we got a lot of guys coming up, a lot of returners, so we're just going to do our best out there. After next fall, obviously, you're going to be taking your talents to play college football somewhere. Um, how's your recruitment sort of coming? How many colleges are in contact with you? What's it like handling all that? Um, it's going pretty good. You know, I have around 23 or so offers and talking to coaches every day. Um, right now, everything's open. Um, still on way to wind down my recruiting around close to the senior year after, after the season. And um, it was going to feel great. You know, it's a blessing to be in this position right now. We know about the different offers, but what are some of those other schools? Because I know there's some big time schools that are sort of talking to you, but haven't necessarily offered yet. Um, you know, the big schools like Ohio State, Clemson, they talk to me, and everyone wants to like LSU and stuff like that. But um, right now, I'm just focused on basketball, football, and getting better. Um, you know, recruiting, getting ways after the season. With when it comes to Ohio State, what is your relationship like there with Coach Stubb, the other coaches, even Coach on um, Coach Wilson? How how do you how much are you in contact with them, and what's your relationship like with those guys? Um, I'm on off in contact with Coach Stubb the most. Um, you know, talk back and forth, ask me how I'm doing, check up on me, and everything like that. Uh, seems to be a lot of stuff about the O line group in there, saying a group, good group of guys, and uh, just staying in close contact with them. I know one guy that's probably in your ear a little bit, even though you're not a big, a big recruiting kind of guy, is CJ Hicks, <laughs> another guy in the Dayton area. How much is he talking to you? How much is he really blowing up your phone uh, trying to get you in this class? Actually, I grew up with CJ. So, um, CJ, me and CJ came from a smaller league called the NBC, played for Dayton Christian for Yellow Springs. And so I've known him for a long time. And, uh, you know, every time I get an offer, he's always the first one in. Buckhart's the boot and everything like that. So um, he stays recruited. I listen to him a lot and just, you know, good friends get that connection. I mean, what are, what are those other schools that necessarily have offered and you're just sort of listening to and that? Give you the most attention, in your opinion. Um, I can't really decide right now. You know, everything's open to even right now. All right, thanks, man. Yes, sir.